Financial Times is a UK-based, world-leading organisation that publishes business news and information. This includes the Financial Times newspaper and the FT.com. In the Financial Times, you will find the latest UK and international business, finance, economic and political news comments and analysis. At Newcastle University Library, we have a Level 1 FT in-depth subscription to the FT.com database, which means we have access to the last seven years of the Financial Times newspaper and its related website. We also receive the current newspaper in print, which is available on Level 2 of the Philip Robinson Library, and have access to the Financial Times historical archive, going back to 1888. In order to access Newcastle University's group subscription to ft.com, you will need to register using your university email address that ends in ncl.ac.uk. On campus or via RAS, access the Financial Times from the Business News Library Guide or go directly from Library Search. As you've accessed ft.com from Library Search on campus, it will recognise you as a member of the university and you will be asked to sign in using single sign-on. Complete the registration form using your university email address ending in at ncl.ac.uk. Once you've successfully set up an account, you'll see your name or student number appear along the top banner and you will be able to access the full features in My FT. To perform a basic search, access the box by clicking on the search icon. Using keywords from your search strategy or a company name, begin to type in relevant words. The search begins to make suggestions for content as you type. The results are ordered with the most relevant at the top. You can use the refine options on the right to filter your results by date. For example, articles published in the last 30 days, or refine by topic, country, or organisation. Financial Times groups items into topics. So for example, if you are looking for articles linked to the theme of Brexit, you can see that FT has identified a topic of Brexit, which if I click on, will take me to news and analysis making suggestions on the right for content I may wish to look at and giving me the option to pin the topic to my personal space in order to keep up to date with it. You are also able to browse within the FT using the headings at the top of the screen to look at different sectors, geographies and companies. We could browse from the companies heading to look at information linked to retail and consumer and then refine this further to food and beverage. FT.com includes a lot of other content, including video, podcasts and Lex, which is a premium daily commentary service. You can find all of this content by expanding the menu on the left. Once you have created an account, you'll be able to personalise your experience with My FT. You'll be able to save articles and favourites and set up alerts. Within individual articles or pages, you will see you have options to save them, print and set up alerts on whole topics. If I return to the Business News Library Guide, we also have access to the Financial Times Historical Archive. This will show me articles that are older than the seven years of access we have with ft.com, going back to 1888. By clicking on the link in Library Search, I am taken to the archive, and if I was off campus, I will be asked to log in with my university user ID and password. On the home page, I am given the option to do a basic keyword search that I can refine by date. Or I could use the advanced search option to perform a more complex search, refining my keywords to match my search strategy, or by selecting particular sections of the newspaper to search within. I can also browse the database by publication date. 
The difference with the archive is that the information presented is a digital copy of the print newspaper publication. You are able to search within the newspaper issue, zoom in and view the articles that sit alongside each other. This is useful if you are interested in how big news events were reported at the time. Articles within the archive can be bookmarked, downloaded, shared and printed. The Financial Times is an excellent source for any form of business research and with access to the current and archive content, you are sure to find information that is relevant to your search strategy. To find out more about the best resources in your discipline, visit your subject support guide.